The reconstitution of SCHD is complete, which means a few things for shareholders. We lost 23 companies, we gained 23 new companies in the ETF, and we have a newly rebalanced top 10, meaning no one holding should exceed 4% of the total value of SCHD. Because the top 10 make up 39% of this ETF, their performance is pretty critical to the success of SCHD, so shouldn't we get to know them? But before we get into the nitty gritty, let's remember a few assumptions as the reconstitution just took place. So right off the rip, we know this. They are all a part of the Dow Jones U.S. Broad Market Index, which is 2,500 of the largest U.S. stocks. They have a minimum of 10 years of dividend payments, a minimum float adjusted market cap of 500 million US dollars, a minimum three month average daily trading volume of $2 million, and they've passed an additional screener that ranks them based on cash flow to debt, return on equity, dividend yield, and the five year dividend growth rate. Because SCHD is an ETF, there is an expense ratio associated with it. Think of the 0.06% expense ratio like your membership fee to the SCHD club. So for every $10,000 invested in SCHD, you'd have to pay about $6 in expenses. So if the value of your SCHD shares was $30,000, you'd be paying about $18 in fees each year. In my mind, that's pretty reasonable to get 104 holdings that have passed a pretty rigorous screening process, but that's up to you if you're willing to take on the expense to purchase an ETF. For all the details on reconstitution and the screening process, I'll link to that video in the description below. So let's start with the big picture first. As of this recording, SCHD is trading at $79.24 a share. In the last year, the share price is up by 10.72%, and if we look year to date, we can see there is a 4.09% share price appreciation. So who are the new top 10? Let's take a peek at the overall holdings. We can see there has been some changes to the diversification of SCHD, the biggest one being the drop in technology holdings with the loss of Broadcom. But if we scroll down and we look at the top 10 holdings, you can see we've got UPS in that top spot at 3.99%, and that's where we're gonna to start today. Currently, UPS is trading for $154.76, and in the last year is down in share price by 15.66%. If we look year to date, we also see a decrease in share price by 1.57%. But let's look at the dividend scorecard and the sector relative grades, which are proprietary to Seeking Alpha. To be able to see the dividend grading system, you do need to have a Seeking Alpha premium account, which is about to go on sale starting on March 27th. As we look at the dividend grades for UPS, we can see pretty solid overall. And when we scroll down to that dividend summary, we can see 14 years of dividend growth, a five-year dividend growth rate of 11.96%, payout ratio a little on the higher side at 73.8%, and the dividend yield right now, 4.21%. In the number two spot for SCHD is PepsiCo Incorporated. Last year, they are down in share price by 3.23%. Year to date, we see a little bit of an increase by 1.19% in share price. Looking at their dividend grades, we can see solid grades overall, but the dividend yield is graded a little bit lower as compared to the other companies traded in the consumer staple sector. We've got 51 years of dividend growth, a five-year dividend growth rate of 6.4%, payout ratio of 64. And the dividend yield at the time is 2.94%. Chevron Corporation, making up the number three spot of SCHD's top 10, is trading at $154.55. In the last year, is down by just two hundredths of a percent. Year to date, Chevron is actually up in share price by 3.61%. And as we pop on over to the dividend grades, we see some solid performance overall. Again, dividend yield compared to the other companies traded in the energy sector is a C, but let's take a peek a little closer at that dividend summary. And we'll see Chevron has 36 years of dividend growth. The five-year dividend growth rate is 6.25%, payout ratio is 46%, and as I said, that dividend yield is 4.22%. In the number four slot is Texas Instruments Incorporated. The ticker symbol is TXN, and at the time of this recording is trading for $169.98. In the last year, Texas Instruments is down in share price by 5.12%. Year to date is down just a smidge by 0.28%. 
solid dividend grades overall as compared to those companies traded in the information technology sector. And if we scroll down a little further and look at that dividend summary, we'll find 18 years of dividend growth, five-year dividend growth rate of 12.81%, payout ratio is 71.41%, and the dividend yield 3.06%. Next up is Cisco Systems Incorporated, ticker symbol is CSCO, last trading at $49.55. In the last year, they're down in share price by 2.73%, and year to date, we can see they're also down 1.92%. Looking at the dividends for Cisco, solid grades overall. The dividend summary shows us that we've got 12 years of dividend growth, a five-year dividend growth rate of 3.4%, payout ratio of 37.86% and a dividend yield of 3.23%. Next up is Pfizer Incorporated, ticker symbol is PFE, and it's trading for $27.70. In the last year, it has had a significant drop in share price by 32.12%. Year to date, we're down 3.79%. And certainly as a result of that share price depreciation, we've seen a jump in that dividend yield. So let's take a peek at that dividend summary a little bit further. And we see the dividend yield right now is 6.06%. Truth be told, I've been adding Pfizer lately. <laughs> there are 13 years of dividend growth, a five-year dividend growth rate of 4.77%, and the payout ratio is on the higher side at 89.62%. Next in the top 10 is Bristol Myers Squibb Company. The ticker symbol is BMY, and this is a new addition to SCHD and has made it to the top 10. Currently trading at $51.88, Bristol Myers is actually down in share price in the last year by 22.84%. Year to date, they're actually back in the green by 1.11%. Looking at their dividend grades, we can see pretty solid overall. The dividend summary shows us seven years of growth, a five-year dividend growth rate of 7.49%. The payout ratio is 30.8% and the dividend yield 4.63%. In the number eight spot is Lockheed Martin Corporation, ticker symbol LMT. Last trading at $440.41. In the last year, they're down in share price by 7.42%. Year to date, also down by 2.83%. Looking at the dividends in a little more detail, we've got some solid grades overall for Lockheed Martin. 21 years of dividend growth, a five-year dividend growth rate of 7.93%, payout ratio of 43.66%, and a dividend yield of 2.86%. AbV Incorporated, ticker symbol ABBV, is trading at $176.27 and is up in share price by 12.91% in the last year. Year to date, we see 13.74% share price appreciation. Looking at their dividend summary, solid grades overall, with 10 years of dividend growth, a five-year dividend growth rate of 8.68%, payout ratio of 53.92%, and the dividend yield for AbbVie is 3.52%. Home Depot brings up the number 10 spot of the top 10 of SCHD and is currently trading at $384.41, Tremendous share price appreciation in the last year at 32.89%, and year to date, we can see a 10.92% increase. Looking at the dividends for Home Depot, we can see grades of C minus for safety and yield, but A's in both growth and consistency. The dividend summary shows us 14 years of dividend growth, a five year dividend growth rate of 13.87%, payout ratio of 56.42%, and the dividend yield right now, based on the current share price, is 2.34%. And of course, I've got a spreadsheet for you outlining the ticker name, the name of the company in the top 10, the percentage of SCHD that it presently makes up, current share price, the dividend rate, and then in parentheses, the current dividend yield, the five-year compound annual growth rate of those dividends, the payout ratio, the number of years that that company has been providing a dividend, and the chowder score which if you're not familiar with the chowder score, you can take a peek at that video next, or maybe you'd like the one that YouTube thinks is best for you. Either way, take a peek at one of these videos next. Thanks for watching.